Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. Most of interviews that I conducted myself or I've been interviewed, I face this question, how to take a backup of a PLC? Hello and welcome to another session. Today we are going to talk about how to take a backup from SLC 500 Allen Bradley PLC. You can see in the diagram we have SLC 500 PLC. Its IP address is 10.0.0.5 and is connected through ethernet hub to our pc where we have a programming software rs link and rs logic 500 which is used to program slc 500 plc first of all we have to make a connection you can see in the diagram we have slc 500 connected to the ethernet hub and that ethernet hub is connected to our pc so we have an ethernet cable connected to that ethernet hub or you can say a switch and from there on we have another ethernet cable that is connected to our pc now i will show you the real plc hardware and how it's connected to ethernet hub in the diagram you can see this is the ethernet hub we will connect our laptop to that particular ethernet hub to connect to slc 500 plc after making the desired connections we are now ready to take a back from the PLC. If you have watched our video about how to take a backup of Siemens PLC then you might be aware that our PLC and our system, our computer that is connected to that PLC should be on a same network in order to communicate to that PLC. For that we have to change IP settings on our system first. For that all you have to do is go to local area network connections For sure you have to select on ipv4 and then you have to set up ip as you can see in the diagram so the ip address of our plc is 10.0.0.5 so we are going to set up ip address 10.0.0.99 which is having a same network id and then select ok now your system is on the same network as of a plc now it's easy to talk to that plc let's go and talk to that plc we have to ping and test the connection so we are pinging that 10.0.0.5 which is ip address of a plc as you can see the ping result is positive that shows our plc is now connected to to our system now is the time to open up rs link software click on browse and then configure drivers refresh it out if possible and then select ethernet devices because our plc is on ethernet protocol so we will just define a new plc add new here you have to define the ip address of a plc which is 10.0.0.5 close it out now you can see here we have our plc already shown up here just go to browse network here you can see the target plc is already there now we have to open up rs logic 500 software go to the tools options system communication just select on who's active option here now we will connect plc through rs logic via ethernet ip driver just select on that and click ok now just upload here so it will upload the data from plc to that software it will upload the data from plc to rs logic 500 pro software now it's reading all the program from that plc it's loading it to rs logic 500 software now we have a program already here so you can go online and test it out so all we have to do is we are not going to talk about in detail about that we are just going to save that file first of all name it any name you want we are going to name it line 2.4.18 any name you can just select on yes now it's uploading that program so we have read the plc program and saved it this is all about how you can take a backup from alan bradley slc 500 plc i hope you like today's video if you like it don't hesitate to like the video because it will motivate us to make new content for you guys thanks for watching this video till next video take care and allah hafiz